Hello everyone, welcome to the channel, Celestial Farm Girl here. Uh, we're going to do a reading for the moon who is in Cancer right now. Um, I'm going to do a reading on emotions since Cancer is in the, you know, the water sign, the maiden mother, uh, crone, but she's probably the maiden of the water sign. She's the uh, first one we come to, I do believe. She's number four. Uh, and, um, you know, the moon's very important in our daily lives. With, without the moon and the movement of the waters, the planet wouldn't tick. We wouldn't be a living uh, ecosystem because she helps to shake things up all around the constellations. And she's in the sign of cancer right now. The moon is moving through. She's almost half, a half moon. Just, just, a, just a little bit of a quarter, I think, from being a half moon, and uh, it's just—I just love the moon. She's beautiful. Um, she could be, you know, any kind of entity or whatever. I see her as our our grandmother. I see the Mother Earth as our mother for providing for us, and I see the Mother Moon as the symbol of wisdom and intelligence, and you know, the crone too, grandmother. I see her as grandmother. And uh, with that being said, since the Mother Earth could possibly be right an orphan, from the way I understand, because you know, Earth was created from Timet, a larger planet with a little bit, I think, of its own solar system. So when Timet was busted apart, the Earth came together and maybe a lot of our other planets as well in honor of the old planet several were made out of the big one so with that being said the moon you know has been around since the proto-earth and when proto-earth before earth was earth was hit with another big collision and out of those two coming together a third was born and those two became one it was uh, Thea crashed into the earth, and between the two of them, the moon was born. And so, or so the legend holds. So here we are. Hmm. You know, I was going to go ahead, but I think I'm going to roll the dice. And let's talk about cancer. Sensitive, emotional, kind, gentle, loving. You know, very, very psychic, watery, right? But on the other hand, it could go the other way too. The, the, you know, through trauma or whatever, we can lose our sense of motherliness, right? And that's why it's very important for we take care of ourselves and have plenty of self-love. Because when we express ourselves in love, we're so much happier. We're so much more fulfilled with life. And we can just kind of let that love flow. And what do we have here? We have 10... We have Aquarius and Mercury. So, um, what? Ten is an end, the X, you know. Uh, the end. Let's see, Mercury and Aquarius, which is an air sign, Aquarius is. Mercury is not a part of that sign, but let's say we're talking about energy, okay? And flowing energy. Because even though Aquarius is an air sign, it can be mistaken for flow and water, but really that's energy that's supposedly flowing out there. Okay, so we're, we're flowing out energies, communicating about energies, about things maybe we're done with. We're coming to an end of certain things. We're wanting to express ourselves, plant some seeds, set some boundaries. Right, Cancer? Okay, let's uh, let's pull a couple charms, and then we're going to use the astrological deck since we're talking about um, Cancer riding through the constellations in the chariot. That's your card, right? For Cancer, card number seven. Okay, what do we have here out of the symbol bag? We have um, somebody's got some love talk going on talking love this is a c 
communication so somebody wants to communicate love and we have this golden flower poinsettia maybe around Christmas huh and another weird thing is there's a candy cane so maybe somebody's expecting or is going to have a wedding around Christmas or something like that that's that's pretty awesome or love maybe you're going to fall in love sometime around Christmas wow and so let's see where this takes us that's that's pretty awesome really we all want to be in love right fall in love with yourself first learn to love yourself properly yeah take the fool's journey and learn to love yourself and then you will see everything so much clearer so much clearer and also you need to learn to love yourself because that way you know what you'll tolerate and what you won't and um, we got love coming in so looks like it's uh, universally ordained it's whatever you've been given out you're about to get back cancer and well all of us because we're all cancers we're all Pisces we're all we're all we all have parts of the zodiac in us when we implement all the parts of the zodiac in our best parts we become our best person that we can be so what do we want to say about this um, moon charioteering through cancer it's a celebration yes we have Venus and Aries so we have a little bit of fire and water fire and air actually going on here uh, synergy uh, celebrations a lot of celebrations a lot of people are um, you know enjoying themselves during this season and we have just went into spring we're um, moving through the energies of the eclipses lunar and solar and we're breaking out as a new generation of people yeah Okay, what else do you got to say about this moon? How, how is uh, the collective feeling? How are the collective feelings? Celebratory. Making choices. We got um, Mars and Aries here. Looking at the world differently. Seeing the world through different eyes. A passion burning. And having made choices, you've made choices to, to be happy, to allow yourself to burn, shine, and be happy. And you've chose wisely. you got the world in your hands. You know, the world, you know, you hold it in the palm of your hands. And, you know, how you think reflects out on the world. So think well think positive because this is manifesting energy fire manifests and uh, the moon in cancer that's water so fire and water that's creating right now the elements are ripe for creation <laughs> yeah we've got the moon in Aquarius here and we got the seven of swords um, I get a I get this feeling that you're still in the show cancer we had Aquarius out here too again and cancer so yeah you're still in the show the energy of emotions are so powerful and when you use thought and think about it and use your emotions in the right way you do steal the show people love emotions they love it when you're flowing and allowing your energy to move out shining your light out being bright being bright and uh, you know I get a cunningness out of this too I don't get anything you know deceitful just just a very smart cunning higher mind keeping your ideas to yourself six of cups 
taking the cup the creator is offering yeah see there she's not focused on those cups down there she's focused on what the universe is offering her like a child she trusts that God the creator of creations has wonderful things ahead of her and she believes with childlike nature she's not afraid to believe in good things even though we all go through bad things we we really do want to believe and continue to look forward to the future and the things that we you know we know when we're good and we know when we're bad and we know when we're good the universe always watches and protects us right each and every time always 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 the universe God is faithful let's take a couple of these guidance cards they're crying out to me what would you have us know Holy Spirit creator of creations what would you have us to know the moon going through cancer focus focus this is crystals focus on the things that you love in life and live through love focus on those things that where you send your energy is where you will manifest things so if you're sending your energy to the good you know believing in good hope and faith you know and 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 moving forward then you're going to bring good into your life focus focus on your mind and what you're thinking focus on your mind and what you're thinking because it will affect your emotions positive outlook it looks good a positive outlook we could be thinking of somebody here also with this card all of a sudden marriage came to mind and making a decision and you know accepting an offer from uh, the universe and focusing on yourself and having a positive outlook is what we all want right and a lot of us has been through a lot of things so it's going to take work working with your emotions releasing allowing um, sad emotions to flow out and leaving space for good emotions to flow in which that's where a positive outlook comes in to be very important to think positive thoughts and remember to think them about yourself to treat yourself well to relax and get some rest because good rest gives everybody a positive outlook okay Holy Spirit wants me to let you know I had me a nap today it was awesome wake up from the nap had lunch laid down went to sleep woke up with a big old fat cup of coffee it was like starting the day all over again relax love enjoy find the peace that you're seeking in your life it's right here with you today okay well guys let me see pull one more card the four cups Cancer, moon and cancer. That's what we got right here. And the four cups, and she's looking at the cup that's coming up too. She's not she's not looking down here and being sad. This woman is seeing this 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 divine being sees the offering coming from the most high, from the highest creation possible. And she's definitely seen that she wants a piece of that. She's closed her eyes for a minute and made a wish. It is a metaphysical, spiritual thing. It'd be like wishing on a star, right? And we all wish on stars. Wish away, pray away, ask away. Think of what you need, want, and desire. Use your emotions to bring those things into your life. The things that you love the most, use your emotions for those things. 
just make sure what you're trying to bring into your life is what you really want. That's the most important thing. Because sometimes we bring things into our life that we don't really want. And I have done that before by thinking negatively or thinking that I wanted something that I really didn't. And God really had to show me that that's, you know, how to overcome that and restart and rebuild life all over again. <laughs> and it happens that way. Not all of us are the sharpest tool in the shed. It takes us a little while to sharpen up and learn things. There's no shame in that either because the life is a journey and it's all about the experience. Okay, let's get a card from uh, Gaia. And then we're going to shut down Mother Gaia. To me, Gaia is nature. She is Mother Nature incarnate on this planet. So, let's see where we go. They call her Mother Earth, but I, I, yeah, I know that she's Mother Nature. The scribe. Document your journeys. Document your journeys. Document your lessons. You do these things for the future and for the children, right? That everything that you have been through, you can leave a trail to help them through the same thing because we're not so different. Our situation and circumstances might be different, but we all go through these things to help us learn and grow and mature in our emotions, in our thoughts, in our, um, in our passions, and in our body. So, I love you guys. Have a wonderful day. Uh, enjoy tomorrow. I will see you guys again soon. And uh, I wish the best for all of you. God bless. Bye-bye.